it's always a pleasure to welcome a few brave souls in out of the cold. You may find, however, that the distinct chill in the foyer will offer you little comfort. It has been claimed by the less informed that Charles Darwin concluded that man descended from the apes, but that in fact was not his theory. He postulated that which is still prevailing understanding of biologists and anthropologists today, that man and ape, at some point in time, shared an evolutionary link and then went their separate ways. Our story is called The Ancestor, and when you hear it, you'll wish that that link was still missing. Just some typical Stone Age terror, which is strangely common on the Nightfall radio show. Journal of Dr. Matthew Kane, Professor of Biological Sciences, Howard University, 2nd of September, 1958, Washington, D.C. I saw the crate, or rather what was left of it. Among the splintered pieces of wood, I discerned some of the printing which confirmed a point of origin. Jamhuri, Yamaungano, Watanzania, which to translate from the Swahili is United Republic of Tanzania, along with the motto, Uhura na Umoja, which is to say freedom and unity. But the thing was gone, and that meant the coming horror was all but inevitable. I had been against the whole thing from the beginning, even amongst all of the excitement of the discovery. One of man's distant ancestors, alive today. Yes, there had been legends for more than a hundred years about man-like ape creatures existing in the vast, dense forest of northeast Tanzania, near Mount Kilimanjaro. They thought that the tranquilizer darts would keep it sedated long enough for the ship to cross the Atlantic and then move to a secure research and observation facility in Virginia. They were wrong. Later that night, the night the ship arrived, security officers discovered the bodies of two dock workers. They'd been savagely beaten and bore the signs of teeth marks. Sharp teeth that had ripped and torn their flesh in the most hideous fashion imaginable. One man's left arm had been yanked right out of the socket, and his skull was... God damn. His skull was all but pulverized. Blood and entrails littered the scene. You've got to understand that it's likely that this creature gave rise to both apes and men. And by this reckoning, and from what I've witnessed already, its intelligence is formidable, and in human terms, its physical strength is exponential. Jesus Christ, what can be done? As far as I know, there are at least four more confirmed deaths all showing signs similar to those of the dock workers. The Department of the Interior is running things now. So, officially, these will be all attributed to animal mutilations, black bear, wild dogs, whatever they can use to keep anyone from doing any deep digging, so to speak. I'm not sure what's next. Shit. I don't even know if I'm officially out of the loop. I almost hope that I am. Every time my phone rings, my heart races, and I haven't been sleeping. If the general public knew what I know, they wouldn't be sleeping either, because it's still out there. <laughs>